So I don't know if you can tell, but in the haul video, I wore a black top and red ears. And today, I'm wearing a black ears and a red top. Symmetry. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my very first haul follow-up. So a couple of months ago, was it a couple of months? Maybe a couple of weeks ago, I did a huge Ulta haul, and I picked up quite a few things. And so in this video, I'm going to go through, review all the products, see what I'm using, what I'm actually loving, and what I not loving so much. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see any more hauls and haul reviews in the future. And don't forget to hit subscribe and that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I put out a new video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first things that I went over in that haul were a foundation and a concealer. The first were the NARS, new, the new NARS foundation, the new NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade, it's called actually called Punjab is the name of the shade. And then I got the Ulta In-House Concealer in Light Warm. I've worn the NARS foundation a couple of times right now. It's not my best uh, color match at the moment. So I have been trying to mix it in with a couple of other foundations. I haven't just found that right match. Right now I have to use some of my lightest foundations to match me, so I've been using those more than I've been reaching for this. But I do still enjoy this foundation. I actually did a whole video on this foundation by itself. I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. The Ulta Concealer. I don't know if you can actually see, because I pulled out the stopper, but I'm actually almost out of the concealer. I had to pull the stopper out and I'm like scraping the edges. I love this stuff. I really want to go back when they're on sale, buy two, get one free. Ulta does a whole bunch of those throughout the year. But my local Ulta, I can never find these in stock. They're always out of stock. So I'm probably going to have to wait until I can buy them online. But I do love this concealer. I'm actually looking down and like watching the video as I'm doing this because I couldn't remember like all the products right off the top of my head. <sighs> Next, I have the Eco Tool sponges. So it was a pack of two sponges. I actually decluttered the smaller of the two. I didn't really like those, the, the size of that one. The bigger one, it's, it's perfectly squishy, it's nice. I don't reach for it more so than my other sponges, but it still is a nice sponge. Definitely not better than the Real Techniques one, I'll tell you that. I also picked up another sponge, the Morphe Highlight and Contour sponge. I actually really like that sponge. I'm not showing my sponges because they're all dirty. I need to wash them. But that one I actually really like. It's perfectly squishy and it works, it expands a lot that I like, but it's not too big to get like under here. So I really like the Morphe sponge and I really think it was worth like the $7.99 that I paid for it because I still use that to this day. The next thing I got were some lashes. I picked up a multi-pack from Ardell, which I do like those. They're like my second favorite lashes right now. I have the case right here. I've been trying to space them out, so I've used the top two. Once I open up lashes, and if they don't have their own like special case, I put them in here. It's a cute little lash case. I got this off with the Hush app. But I wore these two, and I wore them down until they almost like fell apart. Um, and I kept them in that case until then. So before I move on to these two, I'm going to try out a few more of the other lashes that I have in here. But I did really enjoy these. I have to trim them down just a little bit, but the Demi Wispies, they're the perfect length. Love them. I also picked up a pair of Ilure lashes from Vegas Nay. Yeah, I don't have those anymore. I'm pretty sure they were like way too big for me, like like cartoonishly large, and there's no way I could use them. So those ended up being used once, and then I got rid of those. The next thing I got, I purchased two like backups from Physicians Formula. One was like their little shimmer strip kind of highlighter, and then the other one was their butter bronzer. I still have those in my drawer to as backups. I did pan most of my shimmer brick. I actually like took out the top part that I used a lot, repressed it into a little eyeshadow pan, and I was using that as a highlight. And then the butter bronzer I'm currently panning right now, so as soon as I get through that one, I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that I purchased from the haul. I also purchased another Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I keep it right up here in my primer drawer. I'm like that much into it. I really enjoy this. I think it makes a fantastic primer under really dry, not dry, but really matte foundations. And this works amazing underneath it. I love if I really want it to be moisturized. Say I'm using like the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, a really full coverage but drying foundation. I will put on the Too Faced Hangover RX Moisturizing Primer and then I'll put this on and it wears stunning throughout the day. So the next thing I picked up in that haul 
were a couple of the Physicians Formula Healthy Lips. Now, since that haul, I've actually picked up a couple more. I do love this formula. I love how opaque all the colors are. The one thing is that you do have to reapply it throughout the day, especially if you're going to be eating. So I won't necessarily wear this if I need a long-lasting formula. But if I'm looking for a beautiful color that feels nice upon the lip, it doesn't feel dry or cakey like this black liquid lipstick. I'm actually wearing both the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip and the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. The black colors in there, I can feel it like it feels dry on my lips. These don't. They feel moisturizing, they feel nice, and I love how opaque the color is. So I 100% recommend these, especially now that they're at Ulta. You can use coupons, you can use your points. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Love them to death. So the next two things that I bought in that haul were also backups. First was the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now that was the last item that I purchased from Tarte. No longer supporting them. I really think not only did they have a horrible release with their Shape Tape foundation that was horrible, I really disliked the way they reacted to everything. The whole like, oh we're gonna release more colors later because you get tan in the summer. That was complete bullshit. So I have that chart. chart. <laughs> So I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have that one open now and I'm going to go through and use it. Once it's done, it's done. I'm actually liking another concealer better right now, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. The other rebuy was a uh, mascara from Essence, one of my all-time favorites. It's the Lash Princess. This is the False Lash Effect one. They have like a purple one, they have a blue one. This is the best. I put this on, it doesn't flake throughout the day, it stays, my lashes are huge, like. So this is one of my favorite mascaras. You really can't beat it for the price. You can't. This is like comparable to my Marc Jacobs Noir, Velvet Noir mascara, and I find myself reaching with this one more. Next, I picked up two of the Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencils since they were on sale. Honestly, I haven't reached for them. I bought a few lip pencils in the past couple of weeks hoping that I would wear lip products more if I had a lot of lip pencils, but honestly I don't reach for them. Nowadays when I'm reaching for a lip product it tends to be a liquid lip and I don't really wear lip liners with those, so honestly I could have done without the two lip pencils, even though I think I bought them because they were on sale, like let's be honest. I picked up two of the heavy metal liners. Honestly, I've only used one of them. I've been using a lot of the Stila Glitter and Glows that I actually mentioned later on in the video, but the liners themselves, I haven't really gotten into using those as much, and I really need to bring those back out and use them a bit more. I'm actually wearing a glitter liner today, but it's one from e.l.f. It's actually not too bad, just a little bit right there. I picked the e.l.f. one because it matched the rest of the look a little bit better because the two shades that I got, they're a little bit out there. It's not like it's a gold glitter. It's like bright silver and bright white, so I should have probably picked some better shades. Next, I talk all about the Stila Glitter and Glows. I have a whole drawer in my like acrylics dedicated to them. I use these all the time. I absolutely love them. I think if you are a lover of glitter and a lover of saving time, these are definitely worth it. I don't think you need this many of them, but you know, picking up one or two, it is a great way to get a look that makes it look like you tried and spent a lot of time on your makeup, but really all you have to do is throw a color in your transition and then throw these on, on the lid, and then that's it. And it looks beautiful and it stays all day. Like, ah, I love these so much. Definitely worth it. I picked up the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I've honestly only used these once or twice. I should have picked up a lighter shade because this one is fairly close to my skin color right now. So if anything is too dark, mixing this in doesn't really lighten it up enough for me to use it. This is great if I have to darken a foundation. So I do have a couple of ones that are too light for me. Mixing this in works well, but the tr the problem that I have more often is a shade being too dark for me than it is being too light for me. So I probably should have picked up a lighter shade, but I think in the summer this is going to do me really well. Next I got the NYX Epic Ink like mousse liner in the pot. Honestly, I've never used it for liner. What I have used it for is eyebrows. I used it a couple of times when I was looking for a darker eyebrow look. Did I say eyebrows or did I say eyeliner? Eyebrows. I really like the way that it looked. It is a little dry to use in your eyebrows, so I do mix in just a little bit of like a face oil with it just to kind of 
blend it in but when I'm feeling a dark brow it comes through <laughs> next I talked about the professional pearl professional pearl primer and I'm actually almost done with it. So you can see it's all tiny. What I did is whenever I have a tube like this, I always cut it open just to get the last little bit of what is left in there. You know, it's okay. That's it. Like, it's just okay. Like, it's it's okay at covering up your pores, filling them in. The pearlescent, like, luminosity isn't, you know, fantastic. Like, it's... Like, I have pore fillers from the drugstore that I like just as much as this one. And actually the one that I have from the drugstore right now is almost the same price as like this little mini one except it's like gigantic. So I got an Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and that I've gotten a hell of a lot of use out of. I've really been working on my eyebrow routine. I think I've finally gotten it down to where like I really like it and it's a combination of dip brow, eyeshadow and a pencil so <laughs> i do a lot of things and i kind of mix everything together just to get like my perfect brow if you guys want to see a brow routine just go ahead and let me know down below it's not it's not going to be for everyone because i do have a lot of brow hair so that was my struggles like i have a lot of hair but it is sparse in some spots and i couldn't figure out how to fill those in while keeping the brow looking like not like i just filled in this one spot so if you guys want to see that let me know down below but this is what my dip brow this is what my dip brow looks like it's gotten quite a bit of use so i am really enjoying this honestly i think i should have gotten a darker shade i have this shade dark brown i probably should have gotten maybe like a soft black because i do find myself liking like a darker dark brow the next brow product that i talked about was a stila pen I thought it was okay. I like it for filling in like the front part of my brow, but I found myself reaching for other products. So it wasn't one of my favorites, but it wasn't, you know, completely bad. It was just like a middle of the road, like, okay, it fills in your brows, but I felt like it took me a lot longer than any of my other products because it was such a fine like brush tip and the color was so light. Like I think I got a, a too light of a color that I had to keep going over and over and over just to fill it in and look darker. So maybe if I had gotten a darker color, I would have liked it more, but I just don't think the medium was really for me. I actually also picked up the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. Now this was a palette that I was looking at for quite some time. It was so hyped up. I'm glad that I picked it up, but honestly, I don't find myself reaching for it that much. I made a couple of looks out of it. I really like the first two highlighters in there. Love them, but because it's such a big palette, I don't find myself reaching for it that much. I might do like a palette resurrection with it someday, but I just, I've been purchasing a few more palettes. I've been doing some more reviews, so it's kind of been stuck in my drawer. <laughs> and the last product that I picked up was the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I have the palette right here. Ooh, reflective. It is a stunning palette. In all honesty, I've used it like Twice. I really need to reach for it more. I dipped into some of the gold shades. I dipped into the green. I'm not a fan of like the neutral shades over here. I have neutral palettes that I like a little bit better than the Too Faced formula. But I really want to get into the bright, bright Barbie pink and this silver right here. So I do need to pull this out a little bit more. I did buy it quite on a whim. And even so, I need to I need to get some more use out of this. <laughs> All right, so that was everything that I picked up in my Ulta haul and my thoughts on them. Let me know what you thought down below. I really like putting hauls in perspective like this because it's one thing to go out and be like, oh, I got this, I got this, I got this, and oh, I'm so excited. But it's another to actually get down use all the products, see what works for you, see what doesn't, and really learn more about your spending and help it influence how you purchase in the future. So, so I like that I can now take my experience, take what I like, what I don't like, and use that to help me shop in the future so I'm not like wasting money. Because who, who wants to waste money? This is fun and we all love makeup, but we don't want to waste money. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe using the little button down there. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.